Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve a Harvard entrance exam question and this is what it looks like. We are asked to simplify 2 to the power of 22 minus 2. Now let's solve this together and see why they said that many majority of the students failed it. Okay, when you look at this, the most the only thing that is complex here is 2 to the power of 22. That is, that is hard. It's 2 to the power of 22. So we are going to concentrate on doing what? Simplifying it. Now, this is equal to 2 to the power of 20 plus 2, right? Minus 2. Now, recall the law of indices that states that a to the power of m plus n, okay, is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we can now rewrite this, this one, as what? 2 to the power of 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 minus 2. All right? Now, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Okay? So that means that this is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 20 minus 2. All right? So pardon me, let me clean this because I need as much space as possible. Now, look at what we have. So, we are going to concentrate on simplifying 2 to the power of 20. So, if we do that, we have 4 brackets. 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2, right? Minus 2. That is the meaning of this one, all right? Now, 2 raised to the power of 10 multiplied by 2. According to the law of exponent, a raised to the power of m multiplied by n is same thing as a raised to the power of m raised to the power of what? n, right? So that means we can use any of this as our power. So let's do that. So if we do that, we are going to have four open brackets. So this is going to be 2 to the power of 10 squared minus 2. Okay? Now, I'm going to bring out 2 to the power of 10. Let me bring it out. But 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2. Then if we should do the same thing we did here, here, that means we can write this as what? 2 to the power of 5 squared, right? Now, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. It's, a, it's something that everyone everyone's supposed to know. It's basic. So 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So what we have here is 32 squared, all right? Now, 32 squared, we can solve it in two ways. I'm going to bring in a mass trick. Then I'm going to leave a link. That is, I'm going to drop a end screen at the end of this video where you can click a playlist that I have so many mass tricks in. You can just open the playlist and watch as much as you can. So I'm going to apply the mass trick here to solve it first. Then I'm going to use the normal method to solve it. So the mass trick is that this is 32 squared, right? Now, 32 squared, 2 squared is 4. So you write that 4 as a two-digit number, all right? Now, 3 squared is what? 9. We write our 9. Then we are going to multiply this by this. 3 times 2 is 6. And we are going to double our answer. 6 plus 6 will give us 12. So we are going to add that 12 here. When you add it, you'll have 4. You'll have 2. And you'll have 10. So this is 1024. Okay. So this simply means that 32 squared is 1024. All right. Now, this is the first method. This is the mass trick, but we're not going to use it here. Let's use the normal method to solve this. So 32 is same thing as what? 30 plus 2 squared. All right. Now, 30 plus 2 squared, if we use A plus B squared, to solve it, this is same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, right? Now, in this case, our a is 30, our b is 2, and our two, uh, then we have 2ab. Now, let's go ahead and solve it that way. So, it's going to be a squared. That is 30 squared is the general knowledge. 30 squared is 300 times 3, which is 900, right? So, we are going to have 900 plus b squared, that is 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2ab, that is 2 times 30 times 2, that is 2 times um, 60, that is 120. 
Then we go ahead and add all this, okay? So we are going to have that 32 squared is equal to 900 plus 120 should be 1020, right? Now 1020 plus 4 is 1024. So we have gotten the same thing. Okay, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And please like, comment, and share so that the algorithm can push my video to those people that really need this, our students, our undergraduates. Thank you so much. So look at what we have here. Let's put it back into this place. Recall that all these are 2 to the power of 10, right? So we continue from here. Four brackets. So two to the power of ten is one zero two four squared minus two. Okay. Now this is equal to four brackets. We are going to also solve this using the normal way. I would continue with the trick. Just watch the video if you want to know more. Okay. So what do we have here? We did same thing as one thousand plus twenty four squared minus two. So we have four brackets. To reduce this, we call it 10 to the power of 3 plus 24 everything squared minus 2. Okay, so we have A plus B squared here. So we are going to expand it algebraically using the algebra identity. So this becomes, this is going to be A squared. That is 10 to the power of 3 squared should be 10 to the power of 6. Recall that A to the power of M raised to the power of N is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 is 10 to the power of 3 times 2, which is 6, and not 10 to the power of 3 squared, which is 9. Okay? All right. So I'm glad I cleared that. So this is 10 to the power of 6. That is it. Now, plus b squared, that is 24 squared. Let's keep this aside. Let's do 2ab first. That is plus 2 times our a is 10 to the power of 3 and our b is what 24 all right then plus 24 squared okay 24 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 so this is equal to 4 brackets 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 times 24 will give us 48 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 Plus now 24 squared. I'm going to use my trick to solve it. Okay. So as usual, I'm going to do 24 squared. Let me do it here. 24 squared. Now 4 squared is 16. It's already in two digits. 2 squared is 4. Now 2 times 4 is 8. Yeah. Double of 8 is 16. So I'm going to add to get 576. So 24 squared is 576. Let's go ahead and write that. So we have 5, 7, 6, minus 2. So this is equal to 4 brackets. Now we have 10 to the power of 6. And 10 to the power of 6 is the same thing as 1 million, right? So we have 1 million. Uh, let's just keep simplifying this. This is the same thing as 48,000, right? We have 3. 1, 2, 3. Plus 5, 7, 6, minus 2. Let me continue from here, please. Okay, I hope you have subscribed. Hope you have subscribed. Okay? All right. So this is what we have here. I'm going to write it out. Pardon me. 10 to the power of 6, which is same thing as 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay? Plus 48,000. Okay? Plus 5, 7, 6, minus 2. So this is equal to four brackets. Now, 1 million plus 48,000 will give us 1 million 48,000, right? That is 1 million 48,000, all right? Okay, plus 576 minus 2. So we have this is equal to four brackets. Now, 1 million 48,000 plus 576 is 1 million. 48,576, right? So we have 1,048,576. All two. So we are going to multiply this by this. And that is it. We are almost through. Thank you so much if you actually watched 
to the end of this video. Okay, so let's go. 4 times 6 will give us 24. So, sorry, we are going to write 4 and carry 2. 4 times 7 is 28. And 28 plus 2 is 30. So, write 0 and carry 3. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. We'll write 3 and carry 2. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 2 is 34. We'll write 4 and carry 3. Now, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is what? 19. We'll write 9 and carry 1. Okay? Now, 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. And 4 times 1 is 4. So, this is what we have now. This minus what? Minus 2. And the answer will be 4194302. Thank you so much for watching. And have a lovely day. Bye.